TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell. So let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, oh, we are live. Damn, I'm tweaking. <laughs> Y'all see the chat right here. Anyway, uh, if you happen to miss the live, this channel right here behind me, it'll have like highlights of the live and things of that nature. Uh, we do got... Patreon, this is, we did an episode of Misfits today, you probably missed it, and don't forget we do got the Discord, but this is, this is Pierre Morgan versus TikToker Mizzy after his arrest, now, the arrest was for, like, him going into somebody's crib, right, violating something, I don't know, well, I'm pretty sure they're going to give us all the details that I need right now. Let me get the chat back up on the screen so I can see it. Uh, let's go. As a fast track to fame and fortune, people you've never heard of can become very famous and very wealthy very quickly from the business of bagging clicks and followers online. But with more than 500 hours of content uploaded every single minute just to YouTube, how do they even begin to get noticed? Well, some influencers have a talent. They Hard work. Mm -hmm. can sing or dance. Some give brash opinions, some play computer games, some give friendly tutorials on things like how to do makeup or make music. But others get their clicks by honestly behaving like complete morons. In California, a YouTuber and pilot faced 20 years in jail for crashing an airplane to get more subscribers. Others have jumped from city buildings to take... What the hell is that? Who's... Who is this? This is dumb. Crashing an airplane to get more subscribers. Others have jumped from city buildings, taken on wild animals, crashed cars, you name it. However mad it is, someone has tried it just for the clicks. And all in the name of becoming Insta-famous. This week, a social media prankster named Mizzy has generated headlines and abject outrage for so-called pranks, which mostly involve just terrorizing innocent bystanders. James, hello. I'm gonna be honest with you. The reason I think this is stupid, like nobody's doing this, in, like in this. I don't. I can't speak for the whole states, but I, nobody's doing this in Chicago. You're not even gonna like. I don't care how many people. I would have met dude at the front door with an AR. I'm not even going to lie to you. I wouldn't have asked no questions. You're in my crib. My kid isn't here. It's up. You're dying. You won't get out of here alive. This situation is life ending for you in Chicago. You're not, you're not, there's nothing you can say to me. There's not a word you can say to me after you've walked through my door. And sat on my couch when my daughter is here. There's nothing you could, nothing, there's, what are you saying? Like, it's a prank, it's a prank, it's not a prank to me. <laughs> yes. uh, hello. You, nice <laughs> you see him? Bunk gang, boot gang. This is, a, I told y'all earlier, this was a spawn of bunk gang. I don't know if y'all remember who this is. <laughs> As public anger grew this week, London's Met Police announced they were looking for Mizzy, real name. I feel like some of them is like not as bad as the other one, but going into somebody's crib, stealing somebody's dog, that's wild. Akari Bronze Garo, the law caught up with him, and today he was fined £365 and given a criminal behaviour order, which is supposed to ban him from posting to social media without the written permission of the people in his videos. You might think that's not much of a punishment or much of a deterrent. But what does he think? Well, fresh from the courtroom, He's here now. All right, well, good evening to you. Hello, hello, Piers. Long time no see. What do you mean, long time no see? Last time I hopped on your thing with my friend. Oh, that's right, you, you appeared in the background, didn't yeah, you? Mate. Yeah, interview. mate. Yeah, OK, well, I'm not your mate. Um, You're what not I am is, then what are you? What I am is an interviewer who is... I'm curious about what has been motivating you to tell... I ain't even gonna lie, that was real aggressive, Pierre. That was mighty aggressive. I know you don't like what that man doing, but damn. Terrorize 
the people around where you live. Why do mm. it? I wouldn't really call it terrorising, I would just call it more having fun. But let's get this out of the way first. I apologise. You see this situation that blew up on the internet, the walking into random houses? The next day, I apologised to the woman because I felt bad, innit? Like, deep in her social media, like, it went deep in her social media, that's why I didn't record it. She recorded me apologising to her. I told her sorry and she explained that she was terrified because her like, children were in the house. And I understood What were you it. doing in the house? Yeah, yeah. Death. R.I.P. R.I.P. Mizzy, if you do that in Chicago. <laughs> I don't care what nobody's saying. Was I doing in the house? I don't know, it was a stupid video. Like, I got peer pressure to, to say. I don't want to say it like in that way, but... Well, somebody else's like, fault. I'm not, I'm not blaming no one else. I mean, you break into the house with a, the with, house. A, with a woman and a husband and two I young kids. I went into the house on my kids. own accord. No, I'm just saying, you, okay, you went through their door, right? Mm. But it's not... My kids. own accord. No, I'm just saying... Is this where the study group is? Okay, you went through their door, right? Mm. But it's not your house. You're not supposed to be in there. Oh, no shit. You are causing a lot of alarm to that poor woman and to her children who are in the house. You then terrorise this poor elderly woman and take her dog away and traumatise her. Uh, you run so the story to... about that... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let, no, me you let... No, no. Yeah, because... No, no, no. no. Let me speak. No, no. Let me speak. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. I'm going to tell you... Let me talk you... about that situation. No, for the viewers... You... No, no, that. wait a minute. Wait a minute. For the viewers, wait who, a minute. For the viewers wait who don't a know what you've hold done, up, hold up. I'm going to tell hold them. Up, so you hold on. Right now. No, you can, can hold on. Right now. I'm explaining. It's been going viral I'm explaining. They, they know what's been happening. Yeah, don't just keep talking like an idiot. I, right? Don't. Let me finish what I, the viewers don't know you did. I, you go up and. You said free Mizzy. Mizzy, Mizzy needs somebody. Mizzy, he got to get to talking to before he get freed. I ain't even going to lie to you. I ain't even going to lie to you, man. Somebody going to. What's the options? You keep doing this, somebody gonna hurt you. Or you go to jail. Or grow up. Like, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Walking in somebody's house and taking, or taking somebody, that's too far. <laughs> and you do these things. You take a dog from an elderly woman. You leapfrog over the top of an orthodox Jewish man standing at the side of the road, minding his own business. You go up to women in the street and say, do you want to die? It wasn't a woman, it was a man, and she even There says, were also women that you did There was a of women there, but I only say it to the man. Right. You shouldn't be saying it to anybody. Fair enough, but Why it's are you... Why, <laughs> Fair in enough, the name of so-called prankster humour, why cause so much alarm and distress to so many people? Do you get your kicks out of doing that? It's the shock factor. It's, too, it's the internet. The, the, the internet wants the shock factor, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying, you're playing a dangerous game. Like, in this world of YouTube and things of that nature, you got the name. This is what I said before. He got the name already. Now you got to start script. You got to script your pranks now. It's okay. You got to script them. Script them. They know it's for entertainment. It's YouTube. It's entertainment. Go ahead and script it out, man. Mm. Not necessarily, but you could say that this whole public outroar just makes me laugh because people are getting hurt over something that didn't happen to them. And that's how I see it as. What do you mean? People are getting hurt over something that didn't happen to them. Everyone acts like they, they have this persona, like they don't care, or uh, social media is a facade, this, that, and the other. But when me comes out and does the mad thing, everyone has something to say. It's not a mad thing. It's, it's just, the mad thing. It's, it's the mad a, thing. You, you, no. already, you, already you already said it was the mad thing. It's, it's a mad thing. No, it's, it's not mad. mad. It's moronic. <laughs> It's the kind of thing anybody could do, mm. and you do it for kicks, and you do it for clicks, and you get your little moment on TikTok, and presumably your peer group that you referenced earlier, they all think, good on you. Good on you, Mizzy, this is hilarious. Do y'all think P uh, Mizzy has a father figure in his life? Because I'm not going to lie, I know Mizzy is completely in the wrong, but me, me growing up, no father figure, no male influence in my life, and Pierre talking to me like this, like little boy me, it would trigger me. Just because I'm misguided. I'm a misguided youth. I, I've never been talked to by like a, an adult male. Like it would have, it probably would have triggered me as a youth. <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you. Like Pierre's not doing nothing too bad. Just, but it just, just being in a situation, like you over talking me. I know I'm on your show, but you talking louder than me. You you trying to point the fingers, which you're, you're he's not wrong, but I would just feel triggered. So I I get I kind of understand what Missy's. I don't know. You wouldn't understand if you ain't had no father. If you damn, this is gonna sound crazy, but I don't think you would understand if you were raised in a dual parent household. 
if you was raised by a single mom and and didn't have no brother, older brother or uncles around and just women, like this might. Mm. Yes. Meanwhile, some poor woman thinks you've stolen her dog and is traumatized. Another woman has a two kids and you're bursting into their house uninvited. All right. Like you're jumping on Jewish people. See, I was right? jumping you're already... on Jewish people. Hold up, wait yeah, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, no, stop. You did. Cool, it was a Jewish person, cool. But there was a trend going around on TikTok called 300. I've been listening to numerous people, black people, white people, age, any mm. types of people, I don't discriminate. So don't stop saying orthodox Jewish person, like I only targeted him and it was only him that I went for. Mm. Why are you not? True. Targeting anybody in that. What would you mean? Why am I targeting anyone? It was a trend. It was a trend. I just done it for a trend. What's Literally the trend? Plus. What's the trend? Three oh oh, jump over someone at the time of the beat. However much you scare them. Huh? However much you scare them. Or even if you push them into a car. No, uh, that's that. That didn't happen though, because I saw. It didn't happen by it chance. It didn't happen, but it didn't happen. A lot of the stuff that you do it didn't happen. could have consequences far more serious. But you don't care, do you? I feel like Mizzy's just living in the moment. He's living in that exact moment. I can tell he's on here like. Thinking of his next words. As long as you get a laugh. I have remorse. I have remorse for all of these you things. You don't have any remorse. What do you mean I don't have any remorse? How are you telling tell me? You have no are remorse. Are you in my life? Do you live in my life? Huh? Do you, are you there for my pranks? Have you been there in my What's life? What's your life? Tell me. Well, you tell me my life. Presumably, this is whether, presumably, are you about, life. You, presumably, you're about to life. tell me the sob story, are you? What's There's the no sob story? There's no sob story. Well, go on then. What's your story about my What's so bad about your life that makes you do this? I've been doing my whole life, innit? I just do it for fun. On or off camera, I do my thing. Tell me about your life. What justifies this? What What's happened to life? you that makes you think you're justified in doing this? What do you mean, tell me about my life? Well, you, you said you said you know nothing about your life. Tell me about your life. I'm get, you're trying to get onto me because I'm black. Because I guarantee. Because you're black. Person, yeah, I guarantee. If I don't a give a person, damn about your skin oh, color. Really? No. Why would Keep I pairs. care about what color mm -hmm. your skin is? Mm -hmm. I just think you're an idiot. Oh, thank you. I think you're an idiot too. That's fine. You're perfectly entitled to. Yeah. So are you. So this show's called uncensored. I think you're an idiot. I mean, to be fair, for Mizzy for bringing up the race car, like. Pierre Morgan was just repeatedly pointing out that it was an Orthodox Jew. So, it, it, I know I'm reaching, but I'm trying to be devil's advocate. You know what I'm saying? An idiot for what you've been doing. Oh. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, I know it's probably nothing to do with race, but I can see why Missy probably was like, oh, is it because I'm black? Because you just keep bringing up Orthodox Jew, Orthodox Jew. Maybe you're thinking it's that now. I also think you're an idiot for playing the race car when oh, no one's really? mentioned your skin color. Really? Okay, you don't have to mention it to... I don't care about your way. skin color, Aye. Mizzy. Aye. I care about the fact that you've been terrorizing all these people for a sustained period of time. I also care about the fact you've only got a tiny fine today. No deterrent to you whatsoever. You don't show any real remorse. You don't UK, really care, do you? The UK laws are weak, simple as. And that's huh? not, the UK laws are weak, simple as, and that's not uh. my fault. Uh, you, well, hell. You ain't lying there. That's not my fault. Like, in America... What do your, fam me? what do your family make of what you've been doing? Oh, what do my family make? Well, I don't chat to my mum anymore. Dang. And why not? Why not? Because I just don't talk to her. It's irrelevant to you, but I just don't chat to her, innit? Mm -hmm. And, well, it's, my sisters are calm, but, like, obviously, they don't fully commend what I do, but... Do any of your family condemn what you do? No, of course not. Like, obviously... They think certain, it's all perfectly normal? No, it's just certain videos that they'll be like, no, you can't be doing that. Like, especially just walking into the random houses one. Certainly not. But that was more of a spur of the moment thing. I just got egged on and my ego got a hold of me. And I realised that at that moment, and that's why I went to apologise the next day, after the, it all blew up out of proportion, and I fa felt like... It's not out of proportion, but... Yeah. Bad. Personally, I don't think you felt bad. Okay, well, you can, I think say, you felt that. Bad. You can say that. I'm I think telling you, you felt bad. No, see, you're no, to me. Why are you talking? You... I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. I'm don't... talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Yeah, it's fine. I'm talking. I'm talking. Carry on being an idiot. Okay, yeah. okay, we are siding in the districts every time. I'm actually Remember not going to call you Mizzy because it's, it's obviously a stage. I'll call you Bakari Bronze, right? All right. Bakari Bronze, let's try and talk to each other as human beings. All right, Piers All right. Morgan. Yeah, I'm trying to understand. Why there's no real remorse here? Do why do you not no understand what, is, what, what, do you mean, why what there's the no consequences of your I went to go apologise off social media. I could have recorded that apology and that would have been another viral video. Whether it's hate or whatever. Literally, hate brings money. Hate brings likes. Hate brings views. It doesn't matter. I know Pierce know what he's talking about. Because Pierce, you sit on this show every day. And, and you, know, you know what you speak on. You know what the scripts say. You know why Mizzy's here. <laughs> You know, you know exactly what he's going to. Double hate, it still brings views. Why would, why do you prefer to do the hateful stuff? I don't, not like I prefer to do the hateful stuff. It's just like it's easier to do the hateful stuff. Why are you laughing? And it's fun. obviously, I don't think it's funny. But you're a funny person. You do think <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> you're a funny person. You do. I've seen the videos. You do obviously, think it's just really funny. At the time, 
I think it's funny, my fan base thinks it's funny, and it's we outside, isn't it? It's a movement. But what's the <laughs> we outside? <laughs> You're gonna be uh, so deep down, what's the movement? Deep down, being free and not letting anyone tell you nothing. That's why I can do all of this stuff. But you're not gonna be free. In a minute, you're gonna be locked down. I, I think I don't think he's gonna do like this crazy stuff no more. Even though he just got rearrested. I have to, I'm the most hated person on the internet right now. No, but you're not. Most people have, don't know who you are. Okay, then. Whatever you say, innit? Whatever you say. Please. Most people watch this will have never heard of you and care whatever even you say, less. Well, now they are. They, you just brought it to me. Now no, they are. They'll just, think, they are. They'll just they look are. at the way you're behaving now and they'll think, yeah, he's a complete moron. All right, and you're a complete moron. You keep cutting me, interrupting me when I'm trying to talk. Because you keep talking in this animated manner, trying to stop animated me asking man. you any questions. And then no. you say, is, is it because I'm black? As no. if somehow it's See, about a race He's going back thing. to the race card. Why are you going back to that? I said that once. No, and you then, mentioned it. Well, I, didn't. I mentioned it once. I never once mentioned going back your to skin colour. All right, cool. Go on. I don't care what colour you are. All right. If you were white, I'd have exactly the same view about your moronic behaviour. All right. But I'm curious, who in your family is there to tell you this? Why is do you wrong? need to go to my family? I'm my own person, so talk about me. Because you family. don't. No, 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 no. Because you don't. You don't Talk about me, not my family. Yes, but here's the problem. What's the you problem? Are, you are clearly a product of your upbringing. No, I'm not. I'm my own. Person, I've always been my own person. I'm and you've had no one to tell you this is wrong. Of course, people have told me it's wrong. M family, friends, everyone's told Who? me it's wrong. Who's told you it's what wrong? What do you mean? My own mother told me it's wrong. There's, there's been situations. I feel like Pierre is probing right now. Does it, does this not feel like a little probey to you? Like, dang, I'm finna poke you. Poke, 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 poke. Like, what are you trying to get at? Ask the man, does he have a father? Where is his father at? That's what it's coming to. Do you have a father figure in your life? I just ask the question, Pierre. Why are you dragging it? Family, friends, everyone's told Who? me it's wrong. Who's I've never seen a Pierre Morgan show. I've not, this is the first time I've ever seen Pierre Morgan. I don't know who that... I know who he is, but I don't know what he does on his show. I know he has a show. Told you what wrong. do you mean? My own mother told you this wrong. There's, there's been situations between me and my mom where I Right, so your mother doesn't like what you're doing. Of course, I, I, yeah. So why don't you stop doing it? Because my mother told why? me to stop doing something. Okay, and that's your mother. It. You listen to your mother. You listen to somebody else. I'm my own person. I'm, I, I'm legally an adult now, so I can do what I... What are you going to do now? What am I going to do now? Twitter, Mizzy is banned, and I'm going to be on Twitch. Yeah, I'm going to mm. start streaming on Twitch, IRL streams, gaming streams. My Twitch is Mizzy is live if you want to get at that. <laughs> hey, he, hey, free promo. Hell no. But yeah. And do you want to try and come up with a sincere apology or not? No, I don't need to come up with no sincere apology. I already okay. have my own remorse and I already... I already yeah, what well, I'm going to apologize for the public for? I went back to that woman one-on-one -on -one and apologized and he didn't record it. It's not for the internet. I have have to say. What do you mean? Okay, then whatever you... To you it's I'm not giving him no excuses though. I don't think that some of the pranks he's doing is right. I also think he should start scripting his pranks because he's already got the, he's already in the public eye. They, everybody already thinks his stuff is real or knows his stuff is real. So they won't be able to decipher fake pranks from real pranks. You got to, it's, it's, you know, stay free, don't he? He got a kid, don't he? It's all a bit of a jape. And if you steal some uh -huh. old woman's dog, it's, it's all a bit of fun. Jump. If you jump on a Jewish man, it's all a bit of fun. If you run into people's houses. If you jump on a man with young kids and terrorise them. Fun. It's all a bit of fun. Well, what I'm saying to you, to you nothing is, really matters. What right? I'm saying to you is there's been plans to change up everything. And you, you, you're just no help in it. You just talk your own thing. You have your own set morals and yeah. So that's you. No, it's not about morality. I just okay, think, cool, cool, cool. I just Whatever think, you say, I'm, I'm I was still talking. I was still talking. You're yeah, interrupting I'm again. Again, Piers. Okay, let me Piers Morgan, why'd you keep interrupting me? Let me tell you. Me, we're gonna... He is, though. They're interrupting each other. They don't know how to have a conversation. This is when two walks of life completely opposite of each other come together. <laughs> Put both of ourselves out of this misery and we'll just end it there because yeah, you are, you should end it as I said at the like, start, bro. you're just a complete moron. And so are you. Uh, so until you, you stop being a moron, over people, bro. you will be you treated like a moron. People, bro. Uh, you are Mizzy, the, man didn't really the moron. Uh, for the record, he wasn't August. paid for this, Boxing obviously. Um, I outside. feel like paying viewers actually, if I haven't just He's put up with it. <laughs> he was paid, just not by y'all. You know what I'm saying? He got W promo off. And I think, I think personally, Pierre, Pierre, Pierre he, whatever his name is, he came on there, he did what he does on his show, naturally. 
You know what I'm saying? But I can understand why Mizzy, you know what I'm saying, was, you know, taking so much offense, you know. I gave y'all the scenario earlier, but anyway, man, I don't think I think Mizzy should go a different route. Start planning, planning out your pranks. Uh, start doing something a little different, man, because you look, that's a dangerous life. You could do it there, but don't go out of state. Like, don't go somewhere else and try it. Don't think because oh yeah, I did it here and wherever I am right now that I can go do it somewhere else. Because because everybody's laws ain't as lax and everybody's people ain't as patient. <laughs> TLL, leave a like, comment, I'm gone.